Hello, beautiful inner peace warrior. Thank you for joining me on this inner world peace where we take the time to connect to each other and to the same energy to bring ourselves into inner peace so we can create world peace. We know that it's very intense time. There are many issues for lots of us. The shadows come out with ourselves, with our relationships in the world. And I hope that by this, I can help all of us um, get into tune with ourselves. So let's take one big breath. I will do now the movement of bringing uh, light into your heart. Only the pure and the unconditional love and light of the highest frequencies invited to our heart. And we'll do it again. Ah, yes, wonderful. Yes, it's tingling a little bit. Let's do it again. And in our third breath, let's allow everything that doesn't fit in our new space to just melt down any anxiety we have, any resentment. Yes. So what I would like to do today is that we will focus on what we are uh, focusing on this uh, in this time. Uh, and then we will do the mantra together. And we'll do it with a video so it can be uh, with a guidance so we can all enjoy it and effortlessly just uh, let ourselves rest. So I will just do uh, one, one gong gong. So we can just tune into the same one. I already invited all of our guides and, uh, and uh, ancestors and the highest creative force of life. Uh, and just tune to yourself. Just feel your own self arrive. Let it be soft and melting and nice to yourself. And we command that in this moment, wherever you are, in any time and space that you are listening or joining us, that you are fully connected to your highest source of unconditional love and light to bring yourself into balance, to bring yourself into grounding. And we are connected and we know how to be connected energetically to everything that is in this frequency, connected into the heart. And it is commanded that we are feeling comfortable in our body, in our physical body, to be able to bring and to ground this light. And that our system knows how to upgrade itself. And that our body knows how to configure itself into a highest level frequency of love, a frequency of the highest light. And that we know how to give ourselves permission to land and to be in our body. And that we are knowing how it feels like and we are comfortable with feeling safe and protected in our new expansion. It is done, it is done, it is done. Let yourself receive these downloads if you wish. It's all free will, of course. And the focus we have today, <clears throat> it's about water and fire. So there are big fires at the moment in Australia, which many of us are tuned to and blessing and visualizing rain and water coming in. There's also the fire of emotions. There are some voices calling for war, but it's not where humanity wants to. So those voices of calm are rising up. And that is a really good sign of where we're going consciously. So let's in this Aponopono mantra, 
allow ourselves to calm down the, the, the flammable emotions and anger and let's bring into it forgiveness and love to everyone or every country that we know going through this pain and suffering. We love everyone equally. We don't take sides, there's no need for that. We are just blessing with love and calmness as you will do as a loving mother and father into a child that is misbehaving or confused or in pain. So that's the energy that we are holding and I know you can do that beautifully. And if you don't know, just ask to know and it will be given to you. So we're focusing on fire and water and its balance. Some countries have floods. Just talk to my mother. <laughs> um, and some countries have fire. And emotionally, a lot of it is coming up. So let's dedicate this inner world peace into calm and soothe the inflammation that we feel as people and we feel as humanity. And with that, I hope you can focus on yourself first to bring inflammation in your body, in your thinking, in your feeling and relationship, and in your connection to your surrounding, uh, into calmness and to balance and bring water, clean, pure, holy water into it. And enjoy that. So this is where we're going to go with our focus, collective focus. And this is what we are doing in the mantra. Now we're going to share the mantra together. So I will share it with us. Computer sound, yes, I'm learning. So, no. It's the wrong one. Um, yeah, we'll do it again. Excuse me. Go to the sharing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for it? I think I am. Let's and here we are so don't forget to focus on yourself balancing water and fire focusing on the Middle East if you want on Australia and other places that you feel called to and most of all yourself your family your home your city, your continent, and from there to the world. So here we go. Don't forget to breathe. Mm -hmm. You are welcome to join us in this inner world peace. In this Haponopono mantra, you are going to bring yourself into inner peace and help us all create a beautiful field of light. In this intense but special time, we need to be mindful about how we use our personal power. You have so much power in your mind, in your body, in your heart, and in your spirit. And those four voices can help you create the world that you want for yourself. And together we can create the world that we want for ourselves and our children. first power is the power of your spirit and your intention that you bring into this mantra. Our intention is to create inner peace in ourselves and outside ourselves. Your second voice and power 
is the power of your mind and the ability to focus and visualize what we are creating. We are focusing on seeing the field of light of people that are joining and lighting themselves up into the same intention. Your third voice is of your physical voice where you bring your body and your singing voice into this mantra to bring yourself the joy and expression that comes with your voice and singing. The last voice is the voice of your feeling heart. You bring your feeling into this mantra so you can expand yourself and share your beauty with us. Take one big breath and allow yourself to feel your body from your toes to your belly to your head. Bring an inner smile on your face. Take another breath. Feel the area of your heart and picture a person, a place or an animal that makes you feel love. Take another breath and expand your heart also to the back of your body and know that now with this mantra you're going to expand your love to yourself. In this Ho'oponopono prayer we will use four sentences and you are directing that to yourself as a child. The purpose is to create self-love and self-forgiveness and to bring inner peace. Allow yourself to feel all that you feel and connect to all of us who are just doing the same. So here we go. We connect our inner voice with the intention to create inner peace and world peace. We connect our mind voice to visualize, picture yourself as a child or a person that you love. And allow yourself to see all of the lights of other beings who are doing the same. With your voice you can sing with no expectation or judgment, just as you are. And with the voice of your heart, you allow yourself to feel. One big breath. And let's start. Thank you. 
Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. And that you feel loved and nurtured. That you can hold your light and hold yourself and even share. So I see you next time. Thank you so much for bringing yourself into this. I honor you. <laughs>